Hi, I'm Francis, the host of this show, Cooking with Dog. こんにちは。今日は短時間でできるしっとり柔らかい蒸し鶏を使ってヘルシーな一品を作ります。Let's make the boiled chicken, also known as white cut chicken. Carefully remove the skin and excess fat from the chicken breast. Cover the chicken with plastic wrap and pound it with a rolling pin many times to flatten it to about 2 cm thick. This pounding process will break the stringy fibers and tenderize the meat, making it easier to cook the inside. Remove the plastic wrap. And cut the chicken in half lengthwise to reduce the cooking time. Sprinkle on the coarse salt and rub it into the chicken surface. By the way, you should bring the chicken to room temperature before use. If you use cold meat, it will be undercooked. Now, let's cook the chicken. In a pot, combine the 500 ml of water, sake, And granulated chicken stock powder. To cover any unwanted smells of the meat, add a stalk of celery leaves, thyme sprigs, and bay leaf. Turn on the burner. You should use a small pot to submerge the chicken completely with less water. When the water comes to a rolling boil, turn off the heat. Quickly place the chicken into the hot water. And place the aromatic leaves onto it. Cover with a lid. Let it sit for about 18 to 20 minutes. To check if the chicken is ready, you should touch the meat and get a feel for the firmness. It will be helpful when you cook the recipe next time. To avoid burning yourself, chill your fingers in ice water and pinch the thickest part of the meat. If it feels like punyo punyo, which is a soft, raw like texture, let it sit in the hot water a little longer. When it is ready, place the chicken into a container and cover it with plastic wrap to keep it from drying out. Let's cook the vegetables. Boil a generous amount of water in a pot and add a small amount of salt. When it reaches a full boil, put in the string bean pods. Wait for about 30 seconds and then add the broccoli. The broccoli is cut into bite sized pieces and the bean pods are cut into 3 cm pieces. Boil the bean pods for about 2 minutes. String bean pods have different cooking times depending on the type and thickness, and the easiest way to find out the firmness is actually biting it. When the bean pods have reached the desired firmness, turn off the burner and thoroughly strain the vegetables with a mesh strainer. Place them into a bowl. When they are still hot, add the soy sauce and mix. Toss to coat by moving the bowl up and down with a large motion so that you can mix them evenly without damaging the ingredients. When mixed, Cool with a fan. And now, cut the boiled chicken breast in half. Wow, looks so delicious. It's moist and tender. When the meat is relatively large or you don't have a thick, heavy pot, submerge it in the hot water for a longer time. Cut the chicken into slightly thicker pieces than the bean pods. Add the chicken to the bowl. Place the toasted white sesame seeds onto a paper towel and chop them with a kitchen knife. Chopping the sesame brings out the delicious aroma and helps you to absorb its nutrients. Add the sesame seeds. Add the grated garlic to three different places in the bowl to help distribute it evenly. Finally, pour over the sesame oil. Toss to coat with the seasoning by moving the bowl up and down again. Now it is ready. The high protein, low calorie chicken breast and plenty of vegetables make it a must try side dish. 
high mono seasoned mixed ingredients can be made with almost all kinds of vegetables such as komatsuna spinach, shungiku leaves, bok choy, Chinese water spinach, and carrot. ニンニクとごま油の香りが食欲を刺激してお箸が止まりません。The remaining chicken soup is very delicious and it can be used for Chinese porridge, ramen, or any type of soup. Good luck in the kitchen! ニンニクとごま油の香りが食欲を刺激してちょっと大丈夫。